just a regular park, right? Trees, grass, bushes. That's what it looks like on the surface. We're going to look a little deeper to learn what's happening below ground and how it could help the city cut its carbon emissions. I'm here with Mikko Jalos in the up-and-coming neighborhood of Jatkasari here in Helsinki. Mikko, you've been part of a really interesting project here, making use of bio-waste in the city park. Can you tell me a little bit about that? We have been uh, engaging with the city of Helsinki with an uh, idea to start using bio-waste streams to produce what we call biochar and then use it in the uh, urban green areas in Helsinki. What actually is biochar? Biochar is a product that you get if you put organic material, let's say branches, leaves, straw, uh, organic waste, sewage sludge into a burning unit that has low oxygen in it. So not everything is going to burn, but you, you have some heat coming out, but you also have a carbon residue that's like black, normal, it looks like a barbecue carbon. <laughs> okay. But, and you get very, very permanent structures that are not going to decompose in nature. So if you put biochar into the soil, it will stay there for a thousand years. You notice this if you go into a forest, you see very old traces of forest fires. Wood that has been burned will not decompose. And the same happens to biochar. It will not decompose when it's in the soil. And when it's in this form, uh, you can use it in this really exciting way in city parks like this one. It's put into the green areas of, of the park and that should both improve the health of the plant. So grass, trees, uh, everything that has been planting should be faring better. And in addition, it's also storing carbon in the soil in a, in a very permanent way. Where do we find biochar in this park? In this park, we have a one section, this is a long park, one section that has been planted with grass, trees, uh, meadows and so on. And in all of the plantations now we have biochar in different mixes and we try to find out that how does this biochar addition really impact the, the growth of, of the plants and the health of the plants. Mm -hmm. So it's underneath and, and you actually cannot see it from the top, it's in the soil. The city of Helsinki wants to become carbon neutral by 2035. That's in 15 years. How can biochar play a role in making that happen? Well, in any attempts to become carbon neutral, you have to recognize that there are some emissions that are either very hard to cut or we don't have time to cut by, by the target date. This means that in order to be neutral, you have to be drawing carbon down from the atmosphere. Whilst you emit, emit something, you have to draw down carbon as well. And biochar now is one way that we can fix atmospheric carbon into a form that is very stable and we can put it into the ground. This is like storing or sequestering carbon for long periods of time. And what is the actual impact of the biochar used in parks? Like if we were to implement this at a citywide scale, what would it mean for the city of Helsinki? Well, Helsinki buys enormous amounts of soil products every year either to you know, build new areas or maintain the existing areas. And based on our calculations, if we use biochar in, in all, of, all of that activity, uh, they, this could account for 2 to 3% of Helsinki's carbon neutrality target. That's a huge amount. If you think about just city parks, that's not something that you would expect, but actually it can make a really big contribution. Yes, the contribution is equal to having like a major overhaul towards wood construction in the city. So if we think that that concrete is now the dominating material in to make high-rise buildings. Like all the buildings around us. All the buildings around here are of concrete uh, structures. Even if we make a major overhaul in that, it's it's only in the similar size than, than using biochar in the, in the green areas. So both are significant and we need these small percentages to reach the target. Yeah, everything adds up, right?